Big Boys Neighborhood, beautiful day in the neighborhood, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you, it's about to get even more beautiful in the neighborhood, man. I really enjoy this dude, man. He's been a part of the neighbor neighborhood and been a neighbor of mine for so many years. Big Shaq is in the neighborhood. What's Shaq up, Diesel, Shaq? what up, Shaq? What's happening? What's going on with you, brother? Pleasure to see you in the neighborhood again, bro. Who's in there with you? Right. I got Natalia What's here up? on the other Hello. side and Louie on the other side. Yeah. Hey, what up, Natalia. Yeah. Hey, Natalia. Yeah. Hey, Natalia. Hey. <laughs> Hey, say hi to Louis. Yeah. Can you say hi to Louis before you jump out this window? What's up, James? How you doing, James? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Shaq. Shaq. That's how you doing. Hey man. So so Shaq, once again, bro, we got the we got the Super Bowl that's going on out here in Los Angeles, man. And not only when we announced that the Super Bowl was gonna be huge here, then you get, you know, Dr. Dre and and, and you know Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar. So already that's an event. And then there's things that's popping up in the city mm -hmm. that's huge for the city and this reminds me shack of like like lakers basketball when when we were winning championships and you guys were, you were throwing like great events and i'm going to tell you straight up shack i miss you in la mm -hmm. as the guy that was doing things because we had a place to go to but you're going to give us that once again for the big game weekend and what's going down with shaquille o'neal we bringing an all-star comedy jam back once again Yes, Natalia. Uh, thank you for asking the question. Right. <laughs> we'll be hosted by D. Ray, uh, Bill Bellamy, my main man, Michael Blackson, Earthquake, uh, Miss Monique. Hey, Monique, yeah. I love you, baby. Monique is back. So you know, I always like doing things big in LA. It's gonna be a, a Super Bowl week. Congratulations to all the Rams and Rams fans. Yeah. It's gonna be a great weekend. You know how we doing? I'd like to shout out my main man Jeff Klein again for bringing yeah. checks. Uh, you know, comedy, uh, all-star comedy jam back. We're just going to go have a good time, laugh, be safe, watch the Rams and my nephew, OBJ, win that Super Bowl, and then we're going to get up out of there. I heard that, man. Now, now with the actual all-star comedy jam that's going down, man, each person that you have on there is a headliner. You know what I'm saying? Is a headliner. So that's a, that's a superstar studied uh lineup that you have right there Shaq is that always kind of hand-picked by by you Shaq I'm glad you asked that question Natalia you are so beautiful <laughs> you have such beautiful questions yeah uh, man thank you you know I just uh you know I have a lot of friends in the business and you know when 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 a deaf comedy jam kind of kind of stopped doing it I and you know you know by hanging out with me in, in LA back in the day it was Monday it was improv Tuesday was a comedy store yeah, I like man. to laugh so I wanted to you know try to try to bring it back but no, Bill Bellamy is my first cousin. Right. Michael Jackson, I hate him. Right. Earthquake, Earthquake is funny as hell. And Monique, yes. we haven't seen her <clears throat> on the stage in a while. And I'm glad I'm be one of the first ones to bring her back on the stage. She's 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 probably the most talented female I've seen. Yeah, ever. man. She's really funny. And you know, D-Ray Davis, every time I see D-Ray, I gotta pull him to the side and say, my man. That's the best you ever done. So I'm <clears throat> close friends with all these guys. And I want to thank those guys for, you know, making me look good. But it's never all about me. You know, I'm a team guy, championship guy. So we're just going to come on, you know, uh, Super Bowl weekend and just win this comedy championship. That's all. Hey, man, you know what I love uh, about it, too? Not not just having Monique, you know, on stage. And people that know Monique know that she tears the stage down, bro. I just love that we are in a position to put her in a position where we get to honor the queen on stage and doing what she does best, bro. Shaq, did you feel like not only extremely talented with Monique, did you feel like you were in a position where you like, man, no, we got to highlight this queen once again. Uh, big boy, I can't believe this is your first question. During your yeah, interview. yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, man, while, while Natalia was asking all the other questions, I was like, man, yeah. what, how do I get, how, how do you jump in? How do I get a crease? Yeah, just, I'm glad that she said yes. Right. <laughs> I've been knowing Monique for a long time. She knows I'm like a little brother, big brother. Her, I love her. I miss her. Right. I miss her on the screen. You know, she's been going through some things. I'm just glad she said yes, and I know she's gonna go crazy. I, I, I already know she's going crazy because she has the she has that championship mentality. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody been doubting her for so long. Yes, everybody sir. So long, so I already know that she's gonna bring that pain. So hey, man. Monique, Monique, I know you're listening. You know I love you, baby. You know I'd do anything for you. And thank you for saying yes, baby. There it is, man. And you're talking about championship teams as well, man. Uh, Shaq, how do, when do you think the Lakers would get another championship? <laughs> like, do we put the, the engine back in the bus or do we let the uh, engine not be in the bus for a year, two, or three? 
you know, I, I think the guys are going through a tough time now because of all the history. You know, like usually when right. we put usually when we put a superstar team together, we bust through the league. But you know, times are different, the league is different. I think the team that we have built is definitely built for a seven game series, but they're gonna have to start clicking, I think, about now. Yeah. Uh, you know, right right now, you know, they're they're not out out playoffs contention. So the playoffs start today. They either either play Phoenix or Golden State. They probably mm-hmm. want Phoenix in the first round, but listen, anything can happen, you know. Old guys, this is how we think. Man, yeah. I ain't doing nothing during a regular season. As soon as playoffs come, we try to turn it on. So hopefully they could, you know, turn it on. Because <clears throat> I remember when they was putting all those names together on paper, everybody was like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's going down. It's a lot of old guys on there. <laughs> yeah, so it's a lot of old guys. You know, these young guys, you know, these young guys come with a lot of energy. The yeah. difference is, <clears throat> difference is these young guys coming in with the energy, you can't touch them up no more. So right, like, right. Yeah. Like you know, like you know, guys coming in the stable center doing three sixty layups and come on, man. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that wasn't you know, happening. That never would have happened. You know that never would have happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey happened. man, hey Shaq, you brought up you brought up Phoenix, man. What was the bet that you had? Was it if the Phoenix Suns win, you would get the Phoenix Suns tattooed on your ass? No, not tattooed. I I, I get it painted on my booty. Painted. And I walk through the blocks. Painted, and Damn. you and you and you walk how many blocks? Three blocks with Natalia holding my hand. <laughs> so three blocks <laughs> with Natalia holding your hand Natalia. with Phoenix so Suns. Sure that I walked the three blocks. That, that's all. <laughs> with, with Phoenix Suns painted on your ass. Uh, bare ass. The, uh, yeah. Hey, Shaq, you probably don't remember this, man, but years ago we shot a commercial together, and it's still traumatic to me. Years ago we shot a commercial together, and the commercial was us and, like, lowriders. We were at a, uh, at a, at a mock drive-in. And they right. were showing certain things. And at one point, while we were sitting there between takes, we looked over and I heard somebody go, hey. And we looked over and you had pulled your pants down. I don't recall any of that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, strike, for, for, strike that from the tape, Your Honor. I have no idea. <laughs> so, so it was it was his Shaq lookalike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and he do? stuck his ass in our window. <laughs> And his his butt crack had to be about 35, 37 inches. Uh, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the person that was doing that was trying to ask you a question. See, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Shaq. Now, you own so many multiple businesses, bro. Can you walk into like a Papa John's and get what you want for free? Yes, but I learned from one of my old business pals. You know, he he owns like he owns like a million restaurants, mm-hmm. and he took me out to dinner one day because I'm you know I'm, I'm you know learning about the infrastructure of the ref- restaurant, and we eat we eat good, and he pays. Oh, I said, and I said, uh, excuse me, brother, why'd you pay? He says, Shaq, if I come in here and eat free, and everybody that works here and everybody and all my relatives, then they think they can come in here and eat free. Wow. So, so I can if I want to, but I will never take advantage of the system like that. You know, a lot of times when I go in these different Papa John, I say, hey, let me get a shakaroni, and I pull out my money. They look at me and be like, uh. But you're shack. It? No, yeah, like, but you're shack. We're supposed to charge this to corporate. I'll be like, nah, I'm, we're not going to do that. How much is that? And I just always pay. Okay, because I was wondering mm-hmm. if that worked for you, because there's times when I'll go in, Shaq, and I'll however, be like, hey. Uh, however, oh. Natalia can come in and get a shakaroni anytime she wants. Can y'all, so push, can y'all put Natalia... <laughs> That's can so y'all sweet can, can y'all yeah. put her? Hey, let me tell you something, Natalia. We're in the room. I've seen this thing. I've seen this with Julissa. I've seen this with Luscious Liz. This man. Don't get caught up. You're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, what you say, Shaq? <laughs> Hell yeah. My man is like, just add uh, insert name here. Yeah. <laughs> you with you? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, who's that in there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Just this certain name here, man. I ain't mad at you, bro. Hey, Shaq, we were talking about just the businesses that you own, right? And there's always this thing that's going around on Instagram, and it's called Shaq Owns. And I just want to ask you, how accurate is this? Shaq owns 155 Five Guys restaurants. I uh, sold them. Sold them. All right. So that's gone. Now you sold all 155? Yeah, so 155 and I started something. There's actually one in Glendale. It's called Big Chicken. Oh, yeah. I, th- I know about that. 
six on this one in Vegas and one in Glendale. And I've I've sold over 135 franchises. So we're about to come really, really big. Oh, Lord have mercy. Gosh. I probably need to get back into the mm -hmm. restaurant business. Right? I probably need to get back in. Mm -hmm. Shaq mm -hmm. owns 17 Auntie Anne's. Sold them. Sold the 17 Auntie Anne's. Shaq owns 150 car washes. Sold them. Damn. Uh, Shaq owns 40 24 7 fitness centers. Sold them. Jesus Christ. Does Shaq own anything today? <laughs> Yeah, Shaq owns a lot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Shaq, what made you be be this guy, this all star champion? You you did so much for basketball, bro. You were the Superman in so many of our lives. What made you decide to make sure that after your career, you had ownership in so many different businesses? Because it's an alarming stat that says sixty five percent of professional athletes when they're done playing have nothing. Mm -hmm. So when I first got to L.A. at 18, and I was doing Magic's charity game, Midnight Summer Dream, remember that? Back yes, sir. Time? Yes, sir. So, you know, I scored like 50 points a game, and crowd was going crazy. Magic pulled me to the side and said, it's okay to be a superstar, but at some point you want to start owning things. I had no idea what he was talking about. So then I went back and uh, opened up my book, The Dummies Guide to Starting Your Own Business, and the first thing I started was my Twism record label. Yeah, man. Yep, and then I started my Shaq shoe line. And then from there, I just learned the ins and outs of, of, of you know, businesses. But I just want to be the guy that, you know, kids look up to. Because, uh, you know, I have children of my own. But, you know, I realize sometimes that everybody, kids are my kids. And listen, I tell them the same thing. Listen to your mommy, listen to your daddy, follow your dreams. You can become anything you want. This success is not that hard. It may seem mm -hmm. that hard, but I'm not the guy that had to, you know, go the hard route. I went the route of listening and learning and just outworking everybody. So, you know, people follow that. They can become anything I want. Like I've seen you go through your journey and, you know, a lot of people try to take you out and, you know, I remember you had that little bidding war against the other thing and then you, you know, did the shack move. You know, you went and got the money. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Facts. you taught me well, bro. You taught me uh -huh. well. And, and, you know, I'm on my 28th year this year, Shaq. So no. it, it's crazy, man. And, you know, you're supposed to be here today, gone tonight, but but you know, and you're, and, and I'm constantly learning, which I'm pretty sure you're constantly learning as well. There's no God willing, man. There's no, uh, there's no end zone and no expiration date to what we do. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I take care. I big up you on that one, man. Shaq, do you miss playing basketball? No, not at all. Really? Yeah. Why do would I miss playing? Well, why would I miss playing with these cupcakes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Shaq, do you feel like the league is softer I mean, or soft yeah. now? So you already know the answer, but like it's like now when, when, when we say it now, oh, you're just an old dude that's hating. But yes, it is. It really is. Like, What's it? I was watching the other day and Giannis got fouled really hard and they was like, oh, that's a flagrant two, throw him out. I was like, bro, I used to get fouled like that going to the, going to the goddamn store. <laughs> hey, hey, man, the hack and shack used to yeah, be the that? worst. Bro. What? Yeah, <laughs> man. Hack and shack. I remember they used to like climb Wild. up the back of your arm and get on your waist <laughs> and choke hold you. I was like, good Lord, hit you with batons. Yeah, yeah but I remember that. And then one time we was down by one and I looked up and I saw a little girl with a sign that says, I'm Natalia. Make it <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what, what did the sign say, Shaq? I'm Natalia. Make it for me. <laughs> hey, man, I remember the one sign that said, I'm Liz. Make it for me. Remember that one? Remember that sign? The one yeah. before that. Yeah. 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 You got reversible signs. Yeah. And the other sign, I'm Julissa. Make right. it for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, and Shaq, I know that you were talking about some online dating, man. How did that work out for you? Nobody believed it was me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, because you gotta think, man. Like, why was Shaquille O'Neal? What, what was your, what was your what was your handle on the dating app? Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> I went in the closet and got a cold ass suit with a cold tie. I was like, this is Shaq. I want 155 five guys, 55 car washes. Like, oh. Shaq, like, this isn't Shaq. I was like, okay, if you don't believe in Shaq, we'd be at the gas station around the corner. I don't meet with strangers. I don't know you. You may kidnap me or something. So then, so then after that, 
I went to another site because you know I live in the country. You don't have to be lonely on right. farmers <laughs> only. <laughs> <laughs> I went on Farmers Only. I went on Farmers Only, and they didn't believe me either. Hey, man, Shaq, is it hard for Shaquille oh O'Neal, Big Shaq, to date? Because I, uh, I didn't... Right. No, of course not. <laughs> right. But Shaq, were you really in a dating app, and the stories that yeah. you just said, like, meet me around the corner, yeah. those are real stories? Yeah, man, and they didn't believe it was me. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, man. I wouldn't the, either. But yeah, but you got to think, though. Even if I'm in a checkers thing and they like, oh, it's Shaq, I'll be like, well, man, that's not Shaq. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially with some meet me around the corner type of stuff. Give <laughs> me, big boy. Can you swing that camera around one time? So I can yeah, see can my Natalia. Can we get Natalia uh, in there? Yeah. Natalia's going to join with us as well. Yes, so, thank uh, you. Yeah, so we can see what's going <laughs> down. Wait, let me fix my hair a little bit. Go ahead now. Let me fix my hair too. Yes. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, shit. You know? I'm all make, in my baggy sweater. Make sure I'm all in my baggy sweater. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and, and while you at it too, let me throw a little hate in here. Uh, uh, Day Day, can you bring her husband Matt in as well? <laughs> There's no one in the waiting room. Oh. <laughs> Nath is Natalia in the I'm waiting room? Yeah. She's, she's waiting joining room. right now, else we can't oh finish the interview with Shaq. Oh my she's God. Yeah. Huh? And we got to hurry up and get Natalia out of here because she got a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Is that your ring you're wearing? Yeah. Right there, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Shaq. And she, and she, when she got married, she had two different weddings. She had weddings for the whites. Stop it. And then she had, <laughs> am I lying? True. And then she had a no. wedding for the black and brown people. Shaq, that so is Shaq, not what you would have been invited. No. No, that is not. You it was a minority wedding for yeah. my old you been family invited. members who were boring and don't dance. Right. And then I just did like a little brunch for them. And then I had a huge party where everyone could dance. Because you know us black and brown and people. Oh, we love the party. <laughs> Ooh, we love the party. Can you Macarena, Louis? Yeah, man. So, so Natalia, shout it. Natalia, I don't want to get you in trouble, but if you ever want to contact me, you don't have to be lonely. <laughs> man. Oh, <I'm> lonely. <laughs> Check. I actually met my husband on a dating site. I was. It was so hard for me to date. I had to go on Match. What's his name? Your husband? Matt. Matt. What? Llewellyn. That was my username. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you the one that told him meet me around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> meet me by that bell of hey, I'm over here. You don't have to be lonely. I'm gonna pull up on my tractor. the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> she got a tall white guy instead. Of really he says he is. Yeah, man. Hey, man. She probably really thinking over there, like, man. Well, maybe I do have options. I'm like, man. Maybe I did get married too early. <laughs> hey, Shaq. Prepared by Natalia. We have for real, for real, for false, mm -hmm. for false. Shaq, I'm going to ask you some questions, and all you got to do is tell whoa, me if it's whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. We did this a long time ago. Remember you got me in trouble? With, no, Shaq. Uh, what you call me? What you call me? Man, let me tell you. That was the Hatter Forbidden the Questions. Don't say the name. Don't say I won't the say the names. I won't say the uh -huh. name. But we did this thing called the Hatter Forbidden Questions. Long there was a question ago. that came out that he answered extremely real, and Shaq got himself <gasps> in trouble. Mm -hmm. I first couldn't all, believe it. First of all, I didn't get in trouble. There I'm it is. People were just upset. Right. <laughs> right. You weren't in trouble. They were just upset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all. But so, so this one, right? What we about to do with that you? Type of game? No, this is this okay. is like this is man, uh, not even close to the hat of forbidden mm -hmm. questions. Okay, all righty, now, Shaq, higher or lower? How many women have you slept with? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 like, hey, <wait. laughs> My man was like in session. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Shaq, now, if, the, if I'm going to ask you something about you, Shaquille O'Neal, and if it's for real, for real, just say for real, for real. If it's for false, for false, say for false, for false. All righty? All right, right, Shaquille yeah. O'Neal. When Shaquille O'Neal was a rookie, he was sickened by the smell of alcohol. For real, for real, for false, for false. For false, for false. Really? Not sickened by what you mean, alcohol? Rubbing alcohol? Like, like, like the smell of uh, like alcohol, like drinking alcohol, li li oh, yeah. liquor. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Oh, really, though? Yeah. So you weren't you weren't a drinker or anything back then? You weren't a drinker, man? I still don't drink. <laughs> I heard that. I, but but he'll own the place. Yeah. All right, for real, for actually, real, for false, you know for false. Actually, you know what? You know what I do drink? You know, I got to do my own plug. Hey, I'm Shaq. You should go get that Alkaline 88. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where, where's, oh, no, yeah. man. Yes. Shaq. 
That's my company. You didn't know that? No, I did not wow. know that, man. Nice. This this is my daily, bro. My daily. Well, well, you know what? I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to call you offline and uh, get you hooked up. Man, <laughs> yeah. he, he said we we'll need your credit card number because remember, yeah. big, we we don't eat for free. Yeah. <laughs> we don't eat for free. We don't drink. I did not know that was another one of your That's companies, crazy. bro. Yeah. I heard that. All righty. So for real, for real, for false, for false, Shaq. Shaq, he made exactly one three-pointer in his entire career. For real, for real. Really? Damn, what are those odds? <laughs> <laughs> so one, one, how many do you think you attempted, Shaq? Because I know you would go I up was, in the... I think I was one for 22. One for 22. Almost sound like a regular uh, Lakers game. <laughs> From the, like, it's almost sound like your free throws. <laughs> you know what I'm You just do a free throw joke. Sorry, sorry, Shaq. <laughs> he got real quiet. Man, Shaq, he loves MMA. He began train. He began training in MMA while he was an active pro basketball player. For real, for real, for real, for Damn. real. Mm. Hey, Shaq, but you've always been good with your hands and your feet, though. For real, for real. There, he was like, for real, for real. He was like, well, that wasn't a question. He was supposed to be with Biggie Smalls with Notorious B.I.G. the night the rapper was killed. For real, for real. What was that? What what, what was going down with that? Well, I seen him uh, a couple. Um, <clears throat> I think the, the day before he was getting a tattoo, and he told me about the party, and I told him I'd meet him there. And, uh, I had on a cold white suit, old white hat. You remember? You, you remember how we used to dress back in go the day? Go ahead now. Yeah, yeah, you dress better than me, but go ahead. So then I just you know, I fell asleep, and then I woke up to a phone call. My mom asked, and she said. Baby, uh, you wasn't with your friend, was she? was like, what are you talking about? And then she told me the news. And I, and I quickly hung up with her and made a few phone calls. And it was true. Man. Yeah. Hey, Shaq, and, and while we have you here, what was, um, you know, <coughs> of course, with, with Kobe Bryant and that blow that we had with, with Los Angeles and, and losing Kobe and just as a human being, bro, like, what have has Sha Shaquille O'Neal, what have you kind of learned? If there was any in losing Kobe Bryant, what have you learned in life? You learned that you put away little petty stuff and reach out. Yeah. Reach out. Like, for example, last time I saw you was at the movie theater in Calabasas. I yeah. should have been there and reached out and hollered at you. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, if you have, uh, you know, whether you're, whether you're friends or you have a slight disagreement, just reach out. And, uh, you know, my sister died before that, and I was working so yeah. much before he got to reach out. So I try to reach out to, you know, friends, associates. Like, you know, we reach out to Monique. Like, hey, Monique, Shaq right. needs you. So, you know, just, you know, reach out. I I really feel for his, for his parents, you know, his mom and dad. They're like, you know, wonderful people. <clears throat> of course, we all lost him, but they lost a son. Yeah, uh, man. Son, so. Big boy's Big neighborhood, boy. Shaq. Definitely want to thank you for yeah, coming man. into the neighborhood, Shaq. It, I'm going to tell you, man, people say old days, but it, it felt like yesterday. Mm -hmm. It felt like yesteryear, man. I really enjoy having you in the neighborhood. And Shaq, you got to pop back in on us yeah, in person, man. man. I remember back in the day, Shaq, you, you just always, show up. Yeah, remember that? We always laugh. We always get in trouble. We always go viral. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I remember that one time, Shaq, you called us and you played like you had a parrot in the car. Yeah, <laughs> <man. laughs> Shaq parrot? Yeah, man. He was like, hold on, my parent want to speak to y'all. <laughs> hey, man. Or he would just come in. I remember Shaq walking in because he, he he couldn't clear the door. Yeah. So he would just show up and just walk in and duck under the door, to, you know, and come in and just hang with wow. his Shaq. So I know you're about to be out here, bro. I would love to have you in the neighborhood. And if you ever go to your Instagram, um, I've been trying to contact you for probably about the last three, four, seven years uh, via, uh, DM. <laughs> via DM. So, so go on in there and, and, and reply to me. All right, deal. I will. So Hi, make sure you, this is Natalia right here. Natalia, habla espanol? He said habla espanol. Well, he oh. said habla espanol. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know what he meant. <laughs> she said un poquito, un poquito. <laughs> me amo el padrino negro. He said me amo el padrino negro. What, the black guy? <laughs> yeah, he said. 
Black hey, man, he know nothing but pickup lines. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then when he called a country station, he could be like, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> met, met, met you on uh, farmers.com. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. You got these long ass uh, stirrups and shit. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, Shaq, but tap in on me, man. And, and oh, I'm going to well. jump in. I'm, I'm going to shoot you my number. And I, yeah. I definitely want to make sure that we stay in contact. Right, you, you, you don't still have your uh, your two way pager, do you? Because I know that was the last contact yeah, I, I had. I, 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 <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and put your thing right here. Let me beam you my information real quick. Yeah. yeah. Let me. Let me. Ch what's your chirp? That, 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 <laughs> you didn't get the 911. <laughs> man, Shaquille O'Neal in the neighborhood. Man, y'all have yourselves a great day, big boy neighborhood.